Hi and welcome to Easy Fishing. Uh, in this episode I'm just going to run you through how to elasticate the top sections of a pole. The pole I'm going to use is the Red Range Margin Pole. Two piece take apart sections. Um, one of the reasons I recommended this pole is its simplicity to set up. In the top section there is a bush pre-fitted as you can see already glued in place. So what do we need? Well first of all we need elastic and here I've chosen Drennan Carp Bungee in a 14 to 16 pink. So, any other tools, uh, a pair of scissors or a sharp knife, and a pole threader. It's called a diamond eye threader. One of these, manufactured by Preston. Long enough to do this, £3.25. If you're into get into pole fishing, it's pretty essential. So, how do we start? So it's dead easy. With the Drennan, you, so to start, take the elastic out of here and being Drennan, you will find inside a set of instructions as to how to attach the um, elastic to the connector. So we're going to do that. You could use a Dacron connector, but I honestly believe for beginners, this is the easiest way. So, first thing, cut a little taper on the end of the elastic with your scissors or a scalpel. Take your bead, comes in two halves, a soft rubber, plastic, whatever bead and the connector looks just like the Stomfo connector you would glue to the end of a whip. So, just quickly thread the bead onto the elastic. Then, my way of doing this is slightly different to Drennan's, but the instructions come with a package. Thread the elastic through there once, then thread it back through little tricky with thick elastic I just stretch it slightly um, to give myself enough space to thread the elastic back through like so so you end up with the elastic with a little loop of line sticking th around it merely pass that over the connector and pull tight. So that's what it looks like before you pull it tight. Moisten it. Plenty of saliva stops the elastic burning and just pull tight. And you are left with a really small neat connection that will never come undone. I've been using these since Drennan Bungee came out and I've never ever had one come loose. You don't need to knot it. Trim the elastic back so you are left with a very small tag. This is what the it looks like. So the next step just slide the rubber bead supplied here over the elastic and the job is done. All you have to do, same as a stompho on a whip, slide the connector back to expose the hook, attach your rig and close it up. It's windy today, the clatter you heard was one of my sections being blown over, let's hope it's all right. So, moving on, take your tip section, Let's keep this out of the wind, 
take your tip section at the end of your elastic and pass it down through the tip of the pole. Now this is a new uh, tip so the elastic will slide down easily. Just hold it vertical, drop the elastic in it and it will slide all the way through. Just feed it through. If it's a used section that's got dirt, lubricant, whatever, you might need a pole threader. But for new sections with a new bit of elastic, this will plop straight through. As soon as the elastic emerges out the other end of the pole, grab it and pull. And it will look like that. So that's the tip section elasticated. The second section is much the same. You take your end of your elastic, drop it down through the bush, fitted, same thing again, just pass it down till it emerges. Right, as soon as you've got the elastic out, pull it through and just for the moment, join the two sections together. It just makes it easier working. Right, now when you buy uh, a drenum pole, you get a little bag with what's called a roller cone in it. For those who aren't familiar, I'll just uh, show you these. This is the roller cone, little cone with a free turning roller in the top of it. So here's where So here is where we need the elastic threader. So take your elastic threader after you've carefully uncoiled it and pass the end with the diamond eye in it through the pre-fitted side puller slot. Just push it out gently, don't force it until the end emerges. Grab hold of the end. Now, to put the roller cone on, just take your elastic and pass it round the roller, like so. It might help at this stage just to put a little chamfer at this end of the elastic. I'll show you why in a minute. Then, take the end of your elastic and put it through the eye of the diamond eyed threader. With thick elastic, that's where you cut a little chamfer, just helps you pull it through and an inch or so, and it looks like that. Then very gently, take hold of the other end of the wire diamond eye threader and pull it through until it emerges out of the slot. At this point, make sure your elastic is not twisted, carry on pulling and gently pull the roller cone up until it engages And if you look down inside it, you can actually see the roller cone is, is in place. The next thing, in the little bag of goodies that Drenum provides you, you will find some beads. Now, the various colours, I'm going to use the Drenum pink one so I know what's elastic it's in, all matches up, colour coded, etc. Um, just take your bead, take the plain end of your diamond eye threader and pass it through the small end of the connector bead, like so, and gently slide it down 
and then pull the elastic through the bead like this and all you have to do is pull the bead up to the side bush like this and all you have to do pull about an inch or so and make an overhand loop in the elastic like so lubricate it pull it tight take your scissors tidy up the loop So, pull it into the large bore end of the bead, and the job is done. There we have it an elasticated red range margin pole section. One last job I would do is apply some lubricant to the elastic. The uh, lubricant I prefer is Drennan Slick. Don't know what's in it, don't care, all I know is it works. Take your pole, separate the joints. Take the elastic lubricant, squirt four or five generous or six squirts down here, put the pole together, Invert it, pull the elastic out the end of the pole slightly and you'll see the lubricant dripping out and that's it, the job is done. Now when I'm setting poles up I'll always put either a pole hook like this or a uh, piece of scrap elastic so I'll just slide it over the tip, over the connector slide it down the pole and the job is done. Separate the two halves and store them safely. Now on a quick word on storage I prefer this type of tube it's called a Preston top tube and it's rather peculiar it has a like a key shape if you pull the cap off there is a central divider and all you just do is drop your pole into it, the fat end obviously into the thicker one and the other one, drop it down inside the pole, put the cap back on and there you have it. It's protected, uh, I think in total, I can do this in about two minutes because I've had practice, but even if you've never done it before, five minutes will be all you need and all you really need is a pole threader and a pair of scissors. So that's the first one done. The second one I want to do is a Drennan Universal to fit my cheap pole. Comes in uh, again, Drennan being Drennan and being very good, they've pre-fitted a bush onto the end of this. This is an external bush, but for the kind of use that for beginners, it's fine and at the middle of top of the bottom section they have a little um, foam rubber type of bush with a hole in it the same as the uh, red range has now it's exactly the same procedure so take a connector um, I, the one I'm using today is a bungee connector a small one uh, off a Drenum pole so exactly the same procedure just detach the scrap bit of elastic incidentally don't throw the scrap elastic away so I'm going to elasticate this with Preston solid number 10 um, I'm probably going to uh, this is like a mid-range elastic it, it'll catch small fish but it's more aimed at uh, skimmers, bream, perch, etc. Procedures very similar. You take the end of your elastic when I can find it. 
bit I cut off earlier. Here's the length of elastic. Pass the end through the buffer bead. And this time just pass the elastic through the hole in the bottom of the connector. Inch or so, tie an overhand knot in it. Now for, that'll probably hold, but just for a belt and braces, I put in another knot behind it. Probably totally unnecessary, but I like to do it. Gently bend it down, then take your elastic, slide your bead down, Pass it out through the end of the connector. Slide the bush home, job done. Just trim off the loose end nice and neatly again. Now, this time you will need the diamond eye. Now this time you will need the diamond eye threader. So find the diamond end, thread it, through the top section, starting at the top with the plain end. So not the diamond eye end, the plain end. Just thread it down through the top section, like so, till it emerges at the bottom. Take the other end of your elastic without the connector on, secure it in the diamond eye threader. Just pass the end through the diamond eye. Take the other end of the uh, diamond eye threader and pull gently. And that's the top section elasticated. Now, you have to fasten it at the other end of the pole and you have a choice of two things. You can either use a winder bung, these are Drennans which I like, or a puller bung. Now, I'm probably going to use, in fact I'm definitely going to use a winder bung. Uh, they come in about four different sizes. The size I think that will fit is a blue one. When you buy them you get an extractor rod when you, you get the uh, side puller kits, you get a longer one. So we'll just use that for the moment and check it fits. So take your bottom section, drop it in, winder in first. And that looks like a perfect fit. So windy. Yep. So just grab hold of it, pull it out. Now, take your diamond eye threader, pass it down through the bottom section. So, starting at the falling, thread it through the rubber bush, foam bush, whatever it is, till it emerges at the other end. When it emerges, pull the elastic through. Join the two pole sections together just to make it easier and more convenient. Pull the elastic through. When you get to the end, detach it. Right. To attach this, all I do is make a small overhand loop in the end of the connector.
lubricate it, pull it tight. Take your connector, take the end of your elastic and just pass it over the bung. And there we have it. Trim the end off. And there we go. Now, just let that feed up inside your pole. Take your rod, extract your rod, push gently. Don't ram it, just push it gently. Take your pole, check the tension of your elastic. With new elastic, why don't you use it the first time? It'll probably stretch out. I like to uh, give it a bit of a pre-stretch. So if it uh, hangs out the end of your pole, just t insert your um, extractor rod, which has a key on it, matches in with air, pull it out, and put a couple of winds around the bung. This one seems to be about perfect, so there we are. Again, two things to do. I like to put a uh, piece of elastic or a hook up around it. Sure, I had one on here somewhere. Probably blown away in the wind. I'll find that in a minute. Separate your two halves. Three or four good squirts of lubricant. And the job is done. And there you have it. Action. Just as quick, about two minutes. Um, store it in a tube, same as before. And the job's good. So anyway, I hope this has uh, shown you how easy it is to elasticate a pole tip yourself. If you're really totally unconfident, as I you can probably ask your local dealer to do it however nowadays there is a trend for buying online ebay and what have you so uh here's how you do it on video in easy steps happy fishing catch up with you soon bye for now